Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, if you are watching this first video, this vi if this is the first video that you've watched in the series. This is the third video of the series. Um, I highly recommend that you, uh, you know, take a look at the other videos, the other three parts, parts one, two, and three. If you have, if you are watching this video after seeing parts one, two, and three, and you've watched them consecutively. I highly suggest that you stop the video right now, go to the bathroom, you know, go, go you know, do your thing, get some, get a snack, you know, um, take some coffee, you know, drink, drink, drink your coffee, you know, because I know my deadpan voice probably is putting you to sleep big time. Um, but yeah, you know, get these things done, take a, a short break at the very least. Um, because as you can see, this is a pretty involved process. And uh, anyways, last time we, uh, or rather last time I dealt with the undergarment layer, as you can see, it's just, I'm still applying a few color changes. You know, I'm looking at these shapes here and I'm simply unifying Unifying, unifying the um, the shapes. There we go. Okay. So let's say, um, for heaven's sake, let's say I'm done. Let's say I'm satisfied with that, or not. Gosh, you know, it's like that's the other thing is that with this way of working, I can always see, you know, things that I can do. But maybe I won't. All right. So let's let's leave that there for now. I'm, I'm pretty. Pretty satisfied with it. Um, you can tell whenever you're done simply by, as you paint, if you find that you are adding and removing, adding and removing, adding and removing, and nothing is changing, um, then obviously you know, you're having trouble thinking of what to do next. And so maybe it's good to just um, stop messing with that bit for a little while and move on. That's, that's one thing I've, I've just started to, uh, to notice is knowing whenever you are, knowing when to stop is, is an important, uh, it's an important skill. It's a skill. And it's a skill that is only trained through experience. It's when you start realizing, hey, you know, this, I worked on it too long and now it looks like ass. <laughs> you know, I overdid it, I became too crazy, then yeah, you should stop. Okay. So I'm just trimming away, you know, little fussy bits because I am a fussy kind of person. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to lock the transparencies of those guys. I'm going to uh, unlock all my stencils. And before I go on and throw in that, that next bit of um, color, uh, you know, the next layer, which is, you know, that's that's where we're heading towards. I'm going to go to that front hair layer and start thinking about um, here. Let's go back to my layer list. So I've got my figure right there. Uh, here, I'll just make it so that there. So there's, there's my figure, the undergarment layer. There's the front hair layer. And then there's my line layer, which is really just there for documentation purposes so that other people can say, hey, how did you do it? And then I can show them. OK, so. Um, I'm going, there's front hair here, but I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to call this one back hair. No, not, she's, she's not growing hair on her back, you creepy perverts. Unless that's your thing, you know, you can, you can do that, but not on my watch. Um, okay, so I've got this, this back hair layer, which is, you know, on the back. Further, imagine that. And um, let's turn everything back on. So now with the back hair layer, see that? It's showing up behind her. Oh, wow. So I have this shocking pink color here. And, you know, I can actually go in there and just start, you know, using that shocking pink color, you know. And the, the cool thing about it is that it works to frame, you know, something like this. A color like this works to frame, you know, the design, right? It's like it becomes very visible, right? So, I mean, you don't have to have, like, 
it's not like giant 80s 90s hair you know you, you can keep it a lot smaller you know sometimes what happens is whenever i do crazy shocking pink colors like this you know which are like anime colors i tend to have <laughs> shorter haircuts um so i mean i i will start with a large blob of it a large blob of this hair design and then i start cutting it back and you know that's one such thing i can you know you can do um you know and just there's so much you can you know i like the asymmetry in the hair design you know, sometimes maybe i'll just chop that away this is why i love working with the shape tool because the shape tool lets you make these big changes very rapidly crazy cell phone okay so anyway um yeah, you know, it's like I'm just working with the hair now, you know, and just thinking about, you know, you can do a large hair shape like this, then you can do it in pieces, right? So I'm just adding pieces and that little sprig in the back. And maybe I can cut, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just chopping in there. Or I can trim that, you know. So, I mean, the, the underside of the hair can either be, you know, it can be rounded like this. You can chop it off. You know, this is, it's up to you how you want to do it. And I'm going to make it so that I can make, so it's, it's concave in there, but then I will, you know, make it continue up the other side. And, you know, I, you see how I can cut all the way through. You know, I go from one side to the other side and then you know that that's much more dynamic and interesting and artsy and cool and more designy and blah 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 and kills mold and mildew and whatever and cancer you know it cures cancer or whatever so you know, these these are things you know that I, I one thing I'm trying to avoid is this little tangent you see that little a little nick that just kind of touches right in there. I'm going to fill that up, you know, so kill those little tangents and there we are. And now I'm just putting in those little bits there. And I think I'll fill it in, in fact, I'm going to fill in this little nick here with one, one little z zigzag right in there. So sometimes that's what I do is I, I look for little nicks like this here and I fill them in with, you know, one zigzag. And sometimes what I fill them in with is like actually larger. Like that. So, I mean, those are things that you can think of. You know, it's like every time you find those little nicks, you can just fill them in with a little something, something, something. And, uh, you know, this is how you work is that you know you start with a large shape and you just add you know progressively more and more details into it and it starts to look kind of cool it starts to look it starts to look finished you know and then you know now is now's one of those times where you can kind of you know take a break and relax from all the big detail and start fussing with little details and And, you know, let's think for a second here. I'm looking at this sideburn, you know, this this bit here. You know, I'm going to just, I can, you can put in things like that. Right? So you can extend, find shapes on the inside, on the head that you can extend and um, make it work for you, not against you. Herder, obviously. So, Okay. You know, I'm I I am liking that. That's that's pretty hot. Uh, and what I'm going to do with that back hair layer is I'm going to lock the transparency again. I'm going to pick that that dark color and just bang, slam it down. Then I'm going to take that pink color again. That is an accent color, and just cut in. Whoops. I'm going to find you know some areas where I would like bits of that hair to go in so you know when you work with hair it can 
you can work it you know in a, in a layered fashion in the same way that the clothing was dealt with you know if you want to go for the whole panty stocking and garter belt effect then then i guess what you would do would be you would have to have well the underside of the hair here is like this big kind of that's the opening right there right so you got to find the opening So I'm opening up the bottom like that. So actually what I'll do is this. I'm just going to draw one large open ellipse. You know, I'm, I'm just cutting it open like a paper cup. You know, it's like an upside down paper cup right now. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to look at the shape of this and I'm trying to uh, make it conform because it's, it's turned, right? This, the shape is turning. And well, maybe I will cut away more pink than I need. You know, so the pink is open now. Okay, so now that I have that, I can just grab this front color here and start refining, start thinking, okay, well, let's see. Which bits do I want in front? You know, how will I... So that part's open. And this part here. If you have the panty stocking and garter belt um, soundtrack in your possession, either as an MP3 or as a CD, I suggest you, while you're in this stage, that you just throw it on now, get to that track that's called Fly Away, play it, just go for it, whatever. <laughs> I love that show. It's it's a show that you either love or hate, and, you know, yeah, I can't wait to see the comments. You're dumb. You like anime stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, looking okay. Now I'm looking, that, that's like, that works well for the main kind of hair piece. And we got about another two minutes. My goodness, I can't believe it's. You'll be surprised how much time I can just waste on an individual layer. Like you can just work on a layer for so long. And um, that's why this clothing stuff is so much fun because you can spend so much time on it, and it's uh, it's very fulfilling. And I'm just cutting, you know, that open now, and then I'm layering. You know, the colors on top like that. So I'm just finding all the undersides of each piece of hair, right? So every time you make a chunk of hair, you know, it's it's like a different segment of hair and you can cut it open and show, you know, show hair on inside and then you can take the darker color and then use that to shield the, you know, the layers down below. So... And then, yeah, I'm going to just take some of these colors and open up some of these bits here, which is pretty darn cool. And then I can go to the front hair layer. All right, so I'm going to go back to that front hair layer. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to make one new layer on top of it. We are coming to the end of this uh, front, front hair <laughs> is what I'm going to call it. Yeah, so we're coming up to the end of this part, and um, I'm just going to use the rest of that time to, uh, you know, redo. Actually, I'll just go on the front layer. I don't need to have another front hair layer. And I'm going to continue working on this. So anyway, if you haven't taken a break up until now, do it. Do it now. What are you waiting for? So, um, okay. I'll see you next part.